847. Have a safe and enjoyable summer from all of us at the Family Channel, the summer place. Where's my angel food cake? I don't know. So, did you get the angel food cake? Anybody call? Mm, yeah, your aunt calls. Which lovely might that be? It was Hildy. She said that she's going to be stopping by. Oh, I've got to get out of here. That woman does not step one foot into this house. I want her morte. Hey, take it easy, Harry. Right out, Fred. Here we go. We can all have a nice cup of organic tea. Isn't this amazing? If there was ever a time for tea and these words, <laughs> now's the time. Rip Van Teewinkle is a fine blend of gentle herbs and twigs. It has a naturally earthy flavor, which is enhanced by the twigs. So, for a relaxing moment in today's upwardly mobile world, have a little rip. Twigs kind of put you off. Della, I still don't understand why you're so upset. Don't you like your Aunt Hildy? Well, I did. But then there came a time when she started making me do things I didn't want to do. Mind you, I was younger and vulnerable. And of course, she was, well, older and peculiar. I got some good news for you. And what would that be, Aunt Hildy? I'm setting you up tomorrow night. With what? Ugh. Boy, we gotta talk. Idella, do you ever think about what you're gonna do for the rest of your life? Aunt Pearly seems to think I'd make a good librarian. Yeah, I'm happy for you. Hypotheticals. Where do you see yourself in five years? I don't understand. Five years. Paint me a picture. Happy, sad, what? I don't like this. You're scaring me. Look, Idella, this is important. I promised your mother before they hung her. She was framed. Whatever. That we'd take good care of you. You have. And that we'd make sure you find the right... Right what? The right... Dough. You said find the right what? The right dog. Man! Can you please? No, you're not leaving till I finish the bill. Listen to me, Idella. No, I won't do it. And you can't make me. No, no. There, there. I know this is difficult for you. Traumatizing. I know. Oh. Such a pretty girl, yet so shy. Painfully shy. Tell it. Now, don't you worry about a thing. Gentlemen callers are nothing to fret over. 
Tomorrow night, we're going to have a little dinner, some proper conversation, that's all. And honey child, you're gonna shine. You just wait and see. Aunt Hilly's gonna take care of everything. <laughs> Tell a fine joke, Mrs. Muckle. And I even cleaned it up for the occasion. <laughs> More sauerkraut? Oh, no, thank you, Mrs. Muckle. I Della prepared it special. Didn't you, dear? Well, enough of the chit chat. Round figures, what are you pulling down a week? Well, I, that's tough. Oh, we're going to play this little game, are we? Fine. Want to do it in here or in there? Boy, did I have you pegged wrong. Gentlemen, if you'll excuse us for a minute, Miss Idell and I will tidy up the kitchen. In the meantime, would anyone like an extra portion of sauerkraut? No, 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 no. You sure? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Not that it wasn't good. Oh, oh yeah, very, very, very good. Well, it does go a long way, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, golly. I like number seven. I've never been so embarrassed in my entire life. Although, number three does have a good head in the shoulders. You want that, the man? You don't want a number five, dumb. <laughs> Move his plate six inches to the right, he'd starve to death. Why can't you just let me be? Because! Hey, oh, okay. I'm going to tell you something I've never told you before. You see, I just can't let you make the same mistake I did. You mean Uncle Pietro? Mister, I'm just going to the store to buy a carton of milk. That was kind of him. No, oh, you just don't get it, do you? Yes, I, I do. The, the first store was out of milk, and, uh... He left me! And why? Because he claimed I was pushy and overbearing. Me! That I was incapable of listening to anyone. I'm not like that, am I? Well, to be honest... Of course not! It was just that little wimp's excuse for running away from his husbandly duties. Oh! Eighteen lonely years. Just sitting by the kitchen window, hoping against hope that my little Pietro would come back to me. How much are you putting down? Ooh. Oh, that sauerkraut's not going down so good. Oh, this single life, I'm telling you. I told you I'm doing this for you! But I don't want to go in there! You go in there and weed out Mr. Wright! I'm not going in there and you can't make me! Put me down! Now get in there and make a good impression! Thank you all for showing up. Being such a hot night, no. Show them your glass collection. They'll get a kick out of that. Ha! Well, if you gentlemen will step this way.
scaring you, am I? Weeknights at 9 on the Family Channel. At 6 and Sunday at 9 on the Family Channel. Shall I raise the curtain on Act 2? Wake me up when you get to the part about me. You were in the story too, Uncle Harry? Honey, I am the story. Can I begin now? Tell the story. Very well. Needless to say, this whole set too didn't sit well with those gentlemen callers. I think it was the eyeballs that put him off. So Harry wasn't one of the gentlemen callers? Hildy wouldn't have let a man like Harry through the front door. Well, why? I'm answering my own questions here. The crux of the thing is, I had to leave. Hildy was trying to run my life, and I wanted to run away from it. So, I sold my eye collection, and I took the next bus to New Orleans. It's so good to be young and alive in New Orleans. <laughs> Adela, you are the luckiest girl in the bayou. <laughs> Every day is a surprise. <laughs> for a curtsy. It hurt me not being invited to the wedding. It just happened so fast, and to be truthful, I didn't think you'd come anyway. I only wanted what was best for you, you know that. I've got what's best for me. And now that you're here, we can be one happy family. What do you say? Well, if you're truly happy, then I am too. Mm. Mm. Do you want to freshen up? It's right through there. All right. Is there anything I can get for you? Well, I wouldn't say no to a soda pop. It's kind of sultry down here. Anything. You just make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in a jiffy. Aunt Hildy, I'm glad you're here.
do something for you? Well, that depends when you wake up. Hey, I like that. You must be hairy. You got it. And uh, judging by your outfit, you must be... Uh... Hildy Muckle. Hey, no kidding. The doll's got a aunt named Hildy Muckle. What are the odds? Hey, uh, you mind if I take off my jacket? I got kind of all hot and sweaty down at the uh, library. Yeah, reading will do that to you. Well, I see you two have met. Yes, we've just had a lovely chat about his favorite topic, the uh, library. He reads six nights a week. Don't you, Harry? Yeah, but on the seventh, you're all mine. <laughs> yes, you are. You're all mine on the seventh. All mine on the seventh. I guess you two uh, relatives got some uh, family trees to dig up. I'm gonna go run around the shower. So, what do you think? That's the lowest form of primate I've ever laid my eyes on. Why, he's no better than a common house fly. You don't mean it. How can you say that? Pack your bags, you're coming home with me. No, I won't do it. Don't make me throw you. I'm not going. We're going to go home and we're going to start all over again. Just put these stupid looking dresses in your trunk and let's go. Hey, watch it. These things ain't paid for yet. You keep out of it. She's coming home with me. I get it. You come down here with your, your fine northern ways and you... You're gonna try to take away my better half? Let me tell you something. Down here, we got something known as the Napoleonic Code. Napoleonic Code states that's what belongs to the wife, also belongs to the husband, and vice versa. And that's my wife, and those are my dresses. And Napoleonic Code, it don't say nothing about no aims. You're no good for her. I know you're kind, you're lazy, you're shiftless, you've got no future. Hey, if I had a nickel for every time I heard that line, well, look at this place. It's a dump. Yeah, but it's close to my club. Ain't that right? Comet Mildew Stain Remover. When others can't cut it, Comet can. Oh, Aunt Idella, that was... was beautiful. Harry, I... I didn't know you had it in you. I've heard it a thousand times. It still gets me here. Oh, when you guys grow up, I hope you'll be half as lucky. Oh, I'll, I'll get it. You relax. Something tells me it's for me. <gasps> Idella! Oh, I've missed you so much. <laughs> oh, I can't. No, 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 don't get up. I 
can't stay. I just dropped by to tell you, I'm sorry. I can't believe what I must have put you through. But I've changed. You know, I figured something out about myself. I was pushy and overbearing, and I wouldn't listen to anyone. But still, you never saw that in me. Well, to be honest... And why? Because you're a good-hearted soul. <laughs> Look, why don't you come in? I can't. We gotta run. We're off to the BVI's. Pardon? Idella, I'd like you to meet... <laughs> Uncle Pietro died! He came back! <laughs> we say something! How's it going, kiddo? We gotta run. I'll call you when we get back, okay? <laughs> you know, Idella, as shy and retiring a little flower as you are, you taught your Aunt Hildy something. Not every decision could be made with the brain. Some you gotta make with the heart. <laughs> <laughs> Join the Waltons, where there's always room for one more. Meeting your grandson. Celebrate the joy of life and love. Daddy, you ever been in love? As they find in each other the courage to reach for their dreams. The Waltons, next.